okay so uh, we so we we have looked at the uh, this graph of the current gain versus IC uh, just to recap uh, so there's a like a discrepancy at lower and higher uh, collector current in terms of the gain ideally the gain should be constant throughout so we have discussed on the <coughs> why the gain wasn't um, constant uh, at bet, uh, at low IC <coughs> so today we'll continue about uh, to look at the high at high injection uh, current uh, high, the high collector current why the beta goes down okay so as you increase IC beta goes down why so this effect is called the Kirk effect okay uh, the whatever happens here is due to Kirk effect. So if you read the here, I give you two minutes. Try to read here. Can you understand or no? Mana? Can you still see or not? Stop sharing. Okay. Two minutes up, I think. Anybody can tell me uh, what you understand? Boleh faham ke tak? Can you hear me? Oh, I'm yeah. Kalau tak boleh faham, beritahu. Kalau boleh faham pun beritahu which one.
the effective collector doping decrease. Mm. So, uh, do you understand what does that mean? No. 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 Does yeah. doping changes with current? Can I hear you? Does doping changes with current? Yes or no answer? Everyone, huh? Azam? Can doping changes with current? Azam? From your understanding before? Answer yes or no? Azam? No. Faiz? I'm gonna say yes. Hambari? I think no. Uh, Aina? Yes. Najwa? No. Kenapa Aiman tak boleh masuk lagi ya? Saya pergi tandas. Oh. Um, Solihin? Uh, I don't think. Uh, I, di I think no. Hmm. Those who, who an answer yes, why, how? Do you want to answer yes again? Faiz dengan Faiz dengan Aina kau tak silap. Why? Hmm. Don't you uh, when the current high, then the more doping can change also? Amak tak dengar macam mana? When the current is high, uh, then the doping also can increase. Can you say the so the the whole sentence clearly mm -hmm. from starting till the beginning? Sebab dekat ujung-ujung tu, tiap kali ujung tak dengar. Can you repeat again? Why you say yes, Aina? Oh, internet is still lag lah. Internet is lag lah. I don't get it. Oh, oh, terdengar. Saya suruh repeat. I, I ask you to repeat your statement. Uh, um, is it when the current is high, then um, then also then the doping also can can increase. How 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 okay. Think of how uh, Faiz, why you answer yes? Mm, well, my, switch, uh, my thought process is that if we apply high current inside a semiconductor, maybe the what is it, free carrier such as electron and hole from the outside source can be somehow embedded into the semiconductor. So the number of free carriers might be increased or decreased. What is doping? Doping is what is it introducing impurities such as element three and five into semiconductor material. So how does that by uh, by putting current it will change the doping? Because introducing impurities, uh, the focus is uh, the main aim is to introduce free care uh, more free carriers right hole and electron. So if we somehow can introduce also holes and electrons using current? So that is not doping. That is just putting current. Otherwise, why you need the doping process if you had the current? So is doping, is doping mainly focused on introducing the impurities? No, it, that, that is the process. 
So what is a doping? The process is you get free chiral due to introduction, uh, introduction of impurities. That is doping. If it's through current, it's not no longer doping. Uh, okay. Am I right or wrong? That is doping. So, so the answer to my question is actually no. Those who answered no was correct. So, uh, because we need to understand what doping is. Doping is, uh, you you dope a material uh, by adding impurities where you get free carriers. That is the doping. It has to do with the process of adding extra semiconductor material, which is having a more or less uh, free electrons in the in the structure. Now, I I think you answer yes because you are trying to relate with this statement and with this. But fundamentally, it shouldn't change. Doping is doping is that. So okay, now now the keyword here is the keyword here is actually. The keyword here is effective. What is effective? So they, they don't say collector doping uh, increases only. So uh, collector doping basically if it's a if it's a NPN, this is the collector. So the end over here, whatever you do here will remain the same. It will remain the same because you, when you design this, the kuih lapis, you put certain amount of doping already in this. So the doping will not change. However, uh, the keyword here is effective. So now the question is what does effective collector doping means? Okay. Uh, this when you talk about the effective collector doping, then it has to do what. Uh, what uh, what Faiz was trying to say just now, okay. So so, it means that the overall, free carriers as if when it, the doping still remains the same, but the overall free carriers in that region uh, may change. Okay, now my question is how. Next, how is the effective collector doping decreases? Why it decrease, not increase? You increase the current, ni. so you have this is at high collector current. Why is the effective collector doping decrease if what Faiz was saying is correct? Okay, I'll give you two minutes to think. Whether you get the answer right or wrong is not a problem. The, the aim here is for you to think. Okay, it's okay to get it wrong as long as you think. This is in for active mode? Yes. In power active mode. If you can answer this, you are actually quite smart. You are smart. <laughs> so if you can answer this now, uh, question. It took me like a few months to understand this concept. After reading five books, I, and I consulted a few lecturers, nobody can tell me why is it like that. So I read many books. The, when I read the books, the, the, uh, the explanation wasn't clear. They explained, I didn't 
Macam kadang-kadang sebab tu Bila baca buku ni kita kan cari buku yang kita baca tu dia Cara dia explain tu senang nak faham So buku ni macam-macam jenis Tapi unfortunately Tak ada buku yang explain Clearly So I struggle Baca in the end lepas beberapa bulan tu Trying to baca here dan trying to Most of the time think on my on my uh, with my on myself. Lain lagi jumpa lah kenapa. So I just want to think first. Dia macam macam opposite pula kita incre- kita kita suspect dia jadi increase lah kan. Effective doping. Kenapa decrease? Is it related to recombination? Yes. Somehow. But how? Let's refer to the medium slide before. Mm. Um. If the if the the more electron, it will a um, lot of recombination will happen, and it will. Uh, where, where does the recombination happen? The junction between P and N. No, reco- where does it happen? Is it in the in the base or the 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 collector? In the collector. See? Why the reco- uh, the incoming is electron? It's not doesn't make sense what you're trying to say. The the current that comes from the emitter is electron. Then the collector is anti. Right. So it doesn't make sense. Good attempt. Teruskan usaha. Uh, effective doping can you explain that again hmm? effective doping what how is it different from doping effective doping it means that the overall free carriers in that region Anybody else want to try? In order to answer this question, a clue, you have to go step by step and how the BJT works. Satu, 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 satu. Then you will, you, then you might get the answer. You tak boleh skip. Skip satu je tak terus awak akan jadi jam. Terus tak betul lah. So I'm telling you, you need, that's why it's important to understand everything. Aduh.
Okay. Nobody wants to say and anybody want to try? Aiman? No, I don't. Okay. All right. Okay, I listen. So, okay, now you you understand how the VJT works before. Um, how do you get collector currency, right? So, the process of getting this collector current is first you forward bias this junction whereby the electrons will flow, this is N. So, the electron, majority of electron will diffuse to P, right? And when it comes to P, there will be a recombination. Okay, so that's why you have the base current. After that, most of the electron will uh, uh, go to the uh, uh, to the uh, end region, the collector region. Okay, but uh, can you tell me what is the biasing over here? The base to collector junction is it forward or reverse? Reverse. Reverse. So let's draw the let's draw the what do you call it? Um, Depletion region. So, what ni macam ni lah. Kecil ya, forward. Okay, I'm exaggerating a bit. Sebab emitter has a higher dropping. So, here in the... Here is reverse bias. So, it should be the same. Roughly. So, in a normal situation, uh, if I see is uh, like medium, uh, not very high, the whatever we explained before, uh, ideally, remember how the BJT works, is it applies. So, basically, the electron here will be here, some will combine over here, then you have the base current, then uh, the others will be drifted and then being collected at the collector. That's normal case. Now, uh, the problem is now the now you have at high high IC. What happens is this electron here will be also a lot. Okay, so high IC means you forward bias this junction uh, at a higher voltage, which means that this electron here that diffuse from the emitter to the base will also be high. So what happens is when it goes here, okay, when it comes here, uh, some of it will recombine with the here to get the base. But okay, um okay before that let's draw the can let's draw the what do you call it the uh what the ionized atom over here. In this region region at the base ni dia apa what's the what's the charge of the atomis, uh, atomized atom no, ionized atom what is the charge over here of Negative. the atom Negative. huh negatively charged negatively charged why sebab apa uh, lose mm -hmm. the hole donor Uh, sebab dia uh, oh, Sebab dia hilang hole right So hmm. it becomes negative Over here Positive Positive This must be the opposite So and don't forget the charge neutrality Concept It's very important if you have Like 6 over here uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, that's cool. Kenapa dia tak change, ya? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam. Okay, it has to have six also on the other, on this side. Okay. So now, when you have a, uh, apa nama ni, you have a lot of, Electrons coming, you will recombine here. But this electron, <coughs> a lot of electron, 
it will go here right so the 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 recombination process so, so for example if it's if it's uh, recombining in the collector it cannot be recombining in the collector because this is electron this is also electron but you can here 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 in order for recombination to happen in order for recombination to happen you need to have free carriers right both electron and hole betul tak correct so here so here in the collector you cannot have recombination number one because here when electrons are here it's n and n so the the only <coughs> on in the collector the only place where you can have recombination is in the two two place uh, in the depletion or in this collector region but in the collector region not possible because it's the same electron majority of uh, electron over there so the other so what happens is the one that is this effective collector uh, the effective collector doping is actually a bit uh, confusing so when i was reading uh, the the as mentioned in books uh, some doesn't uh, some book doesn't use the effective collector doping so but there are books uh, explaining that uh, when they say effective collector doping is is very confusing so in my explanation for you now i will not use the word effective collector doping okay but i put in the slide because there are books explaining like that so and that's why it took me months to understand what it means because it's not direct so what happened what happens actually when the electron comes here to here right what happens is when the electron comes here and there are too many electrons can you imagine in one in this depletion region where you have drifting of the free carriers from from here to here uh, and when it, when when it goes to this region over here normally this doesn't happen this only happens at very high current which means that some, before it, it can be you know uh, being collected here at very high uh, injection current uh, uh, this current coming you, you can see here um apa nama ni um seolah-olah sebab tu dia kata macam it's not real but seolah-olah okay so that's why it's a bit get, it's getting a bit complicated whereby I'm trying to explain to you. So when you have electron over here, so does electron ha uh, normally in in depletion region you don't have free carriers normally. But at very high uh, this current flowing, you will see in that particular time there will be free carriers. But free carriers keep on moving because it's, there's a lot free carriers. So so the way this the as a semiconductor the way it it, it sees that oh. Now it sees that in the depletion region there will be carriers, there will be free carriers. So these free carriers is are uh, in terms of the um, electron. Okay, now uh, when the electrons, uh, when you have electron over here, so and then uh, remember this this region here. Why why is it become positively charged? Because it loses electron. It loses electron. But now the semiconductor are not very smart, <laughs> so suddenly they are there. This uh, ionized atom, this positive ionized atom was there, and then suddenly there are a lot of currents flowing uh, around them, right? So they feel <laughs> that they have electrons. So basically, what happens is it will neutralize the uh, these electrons. This incoming uh, of lot electrons over here uh, is. It's it, as if although it's not attaching, so but uh, ionized atom, the atom, the electron need to be in the orbit, but because of the there is too many uh, electrons there, uh, as if and it keeps on flowing, so as if the electrons are attaching in the atom. So what happens was so this we are losing ionized atom because of the electron here. So basically, let's say. So we have six ah uh, now it's not a real number just to for you to uh, to make you understand basically let's say one let's say uh, overall is two we are losing two uh, free uh, through at ionized atom due to this flow of the constant flow of the you know free electron here okay now now can you see 
uh, here is 4, here is 6. Is it balanced? No. And the space charge neutrality is always need to be, uh, they need, we need to always make it, uh, they will always want to make it balanced. This is mm -hmm. how it works in the world. Uh. The world will try to make it balanced. It's very interesting just to sidetrack side about COVID-19, you know. Um, when I was listening to the, one of the expert talking, our body, why in the end, um, one of the reasons why in the end we are being attacked by COVID-19 is not because of the virus itself. The virus started, but it's actually our antibody uh, are trying to fight the COVID, uh, the COVID uh, virus, and then they, and then maybe they win, the antibody win, so the COVID died. But the problem is, uh, it, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, this antibody is trying to balance with the COVID because the COVID are eating the 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 the, the normal cell, so they they will attack this COVID. Uh, the antibody will attack until it wins. But um, but the antibody when uh, when this this virus uh, trigger the antibody, the antibody can go crazy. Uh, it keep, it try to protect more of your body. It will produce more. And what happens is this antibody in the end will will eat, uh, will make will kill us because it's actually the body is fighting the system, but in the end the body like confused basically, uh, and in the end the body uh, over. Uh, protecting and in the end damaging the our 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 body, so very interesting. I think uh, so. The same thing here. It life, you know, the the way Allah created the world is always wants to balance itself. Uh, we always want to balance itself. So when this happens, okay, uh, it automatic uh, want to balance. So so what happens is because of this, um, because of this, uh, you know, less of number of atomized atom, it has to be neutral. So what happens is. Here, uh, the upper uh, they will supply more of the base, uh, and in the end, this will lose. This will become also four. Yeah. This also become four. Okay, this will also become four. Okay, so it's balanced now. Now, okay. Previously it was six, now become four. Can you think about the apa nama ni? Um, the depletion region. Is it become bigger or less? The the actual width of the depletion region when becomes now four, become bigger or smaller? Smaller. Okay, good. Smaller. smaller. So now I will redraw the depletion region with this happening. So let's draw it. Di sini lah, warna merah. Okay, so the, the red color is when uh, this already happened. Okay, can you tell me about the effective base width? Is it getting bit bigger uh, or less? Decrease. Effective, effective. base width? Uh, smaller. Increase. Aiman kata apa? Decrease. Aiman kata increase. So, dia kata decrease. Macam mana ni? Orang lain? Increase. The answer is this. What is effective base width? Is this one? Previously it was this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it becomes this. So it gets bigger, right? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> so it, now it gets bit bigger. Can you tell me when it gets bigger? What happens? Oh, more recombination. Huh? More recombination. Okay, good. More recombination. So therefore. So that if this get to bigger, the probability of recombination increases. Therefore, more recombination. How about IB? More IB. More IB. Increase IB. IB increase. So what happens? IB will increase. Okay. Beta decrease. So beta decrease. So that explains the effect. Right. So so. Um, why they use the effective collector doping uh, reduces 
I tried to think about it. Why they use the effective collector doping? Because now you because if you understand what happening, uh, it's hap most of the thing happens here. Uh, effective collector doping is over here. So I think it's a bit confusing. Uh, that's why the word is uh, confusing. I think uh, it's not the effective collector doping. It's the like the free this electron over here that in the end changes everything. The recombination process and everything. So. So that's why um, I put I put the slide over there like that because that is what written in the textbook. So if, if it's confusing, if you don't trust me, go and read many textbooks. That's how they explain. Uh, but I I couldn't understand. Uh, to be honest, I couldn't understand why they say that. That's why I tried to understand on my own, and and then this whole thing here and this this sum up of everything. So it's nicely explaining. Why in the end beta decreases with high collector color? So, any question? I now the internet to go that one so. So any any question? Do you understand? So you'll be able to explain. soalan tak? Ada. Hmm. The PP. Uh, the INS. Uh, the INS atom at P. It lose to make it balance, is it? Hmm. Yeah. Yes. So uh, it will, it will, it will. Yeah, you know, there will be more recombination there. So. Uh, hole will come from the outside to to uh, to cover the INS atom. So because uh, negatively charged ion is due to uh, you know you are losing hole, right? Yes. So some of the ion in P get back the carrier to be atom back. Yes. Correct. Any more questions? So where, where did the extra hole comes from? Sorry? From the outside circuit. I see. From the current of the outside circuit. Hey, the, hmm. But the beta represent? I understand. The beta, what it represents mm -hmm. to. What is beta? You're asking, what is beta, right? Uh, huh? Yes. What is beta, Najwa? Najwa, hang dokter bula. Kadang-kadang so, aku internet UAE tu, siapa kat UAE lagi? Ada, ada. saya senang jual dengan Aina dua dua kat UAE tu dua. Eh awak pun Pak Isa, buat UAE okay? Wah yeah. oh, dah sister tu, kesian. Oh, Najwa dah tengok tak bergerak tu. Okey, kita tanya Aiman lah beta tu apa? Arengin. Ha? Huh? Arengin. Dengar tak Mali? Ha, dia dah. Arengin. Okey, yes. Any more question? Kain kin. Ha? Huh? Masuk kain kin. Temini. The meaning oh what does it mean? I see over IB. What is current gain? What is the significance of current gain? Is it important or we just wasting our time? Tak berani nak jawab wasting our time so mesti important tu aku kena jawab. Current gain is very, very important. Why? Anybody? It, it, this is the answer for first year. 
ni yang belajar fosil dulu ada awak semua ni kena masuk fosil balik lah macam mana kita ni oh, move on macam fosil apa ni Azam? Ha? tak dengar awak kata apa? repeat dah move on dengan fosil macam Move on. <laughs> Dah move on Ambul What do you mean move on? You know uh, in the fourth year supposed to accumulate everything uh, All the courses Move on So that no such thing as move on So you're supposed to accumulate So sebab tu dia ada IDP Integrated uh, apa, design, design uh, project. project tu You're supposed to guna semua ilmu daripada first year Sampailah third year, fourth year dia punya spirit dia macam tu lah Student belajar, student faham Ni student belajar, fourth year dah semua tak ingat Allah aku mati <laughs> tu <laughs> So <laughs> Banyak sangat belajar kan Many to cover So Saya dulu masa saya fourth year saya ingat ke? Tak tahu lah Saya tak ingat, saya macam mungkin Saya pun banyak tau benda tak ingat so Actually, tu masalah kita, you know, masalah kita orang Melayu ni uh, Kita belajar because of exam Because of the system, Edo Amboi, because of the system <laughs> Apa maksud tu because of the system? Uh, majority, the, at school There are there are two stream Which is science stream and What? More? The account stream, account stream, is it? Jadi, so what, so what's the system I don't say? So, we have to choose lah. Well, I mean, it's it's no 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 freedom. <laughs> you have freedom to choose. So apa yang tak ada freedom ya? Uh, it only have two. Uh, How many do you want? The, um, if someone want to become engineer, uh, I think it's supposed have other stream like don't don't have to take the biology something like that so you are blaming biology for your lack of understanding for first year is that you say no and then? i think i say the, the system so you are blaming the system in which you are blaming <laughs> the biology yeah <laughs> So, you know, that, I believe part of it. it's actually betul, uh, hmm. system, system, uh, but not because of the biology thing. The system pushes you to memorize. And then, me- kita memorize and also the system, actually not the system, I think that maybe the system, you, and the system and the culture and masyarakat and parents and family, because they expect you to get a, you know, get a good mark, good, uh, good, uh, good, good, apa nama ni, good, Result. result good result so good result uh, they don't care whether you understand or no as long as you get good results right yeah. ada ke mau pun tanya betul, faham betul. tak concept of you know photosynthesis how does that affect your life tak ada aku ada tak orang tanya macam tu tak ada so macam oh do you know what photosynthesis yeah general oh, aku keluar kan so but you don't know what is the significant of that so macam kita belajar ni bukan untuk Mendapat ilmu so that kita boleh manfaatkan dalam kehidupan kita Dan kita belajar sebab nak dapat makan tinggi Betul, betul So, two problem ni lah, the intention of why you're doing it Masa awak degree kita juga Kenapa awak belajar engineering? Why you're taking this subject? So that I can just go and finish my degree Is that so? Can I answer, madam? Boleh well, Actually, our education system in Malaysia He show that uh, dia ajar kita supaya We study to work. It doesn't, it doesn't show us that actually we work to get money, right? Mm. So instead of learning to work, why don't we learn how money works? If we see in business uh, my mindset, instead of uh, study like in the college or what, they are studying how money works and how to generate money. So that's the main goal of uh, how, why we work. But Malaysian education, They teach us uh, the education so that uh, they can create people to work under the company or so, so, get employees. So, okay, so you you are suggesting uh, we should learn of how to how the money work, so how to to gain money instead of how to get the job. Is that you're saying? Yeah, uh, there's a way for that. 
Is that right? Anybody agree with Solihin? And there's one thing, madam. If uh, I heard about this when well, jam doctor or engineer, they have the chance to get something uh, untuk dapatkan kereta dengan harga yang lebih murah, something like that. Kereta-kereta ada there's a uh, pertubuhan yang membuat macam itu sebab uh, they want rakyat ataupun orang nampak yang kerjaya tu boleh dibanggakan dan boleh dicontohi. Jadi tak faham maksudnya? Uh, macam untuk doktor ataupun uh, guam ataupun engineering ada benda, ada kredit ada peluang untuk mereka membeli kereta dengan harga yang lebih murah ada potongan harga. So, so, so what's your point? So bila uh, orang macam tu membeli kereta yang dengan kereta mewah dengan harga yang ada potongan harga so orang akan nampak yang okey kerjaya ni dapat beli pakai kereta ni tapi supaya orang tertarik kepada kerjaya tu dan they will teach their children to pursue that area. Okay. Banyak lapis. <laughs> Quite interesting uh, your thinking. Uh, nanti I will give you my 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 thoughts on your what what you say. Orang lain macam mana? You agree ke dengan saya ni? Kena ada hidup ni, kena ada pendapat, kena ada jati diri, kena ada stand. Kalau tidak, akan jadi lalang and you, have, you are nowhere. Um, okay. Hidup ni kena ada stand. Sebab tu saya keep on asking semua orang jawab. Sebab saya nak you understand, saya tak nak uduk atas pagar. Kalau tidak, kita akan jadi orang yang lemah semua nak ikut orang. Apa ikut orang, you need to know. Uh, kalau ikut pun, why awak ikut? Kalau orang pangkah orang tu pun pangkah orang tu. Orang pangkah orang ni pun pangkah orang ni. Dah, dia tak tahu sebab apa duk pangkah. You know, not so, that is so stupid lah, sorry. <laughs> Untuk pangkah ikut orang. We need to have our own stand. And you need to understand why kita pangkah. So, jadi, uh, ha, orang lain? Agree ke? Hmm. Aiman? Hmm, it's hard to say. Apa masuk hard to say pula? Uh, and it needs to involve uh, a lot of try and error uh, experiment but the thing is uh, it, it likes game, gamble to gambling to other people's life to know the result. Saya tak faham macam ni. Saya suka out of comment yang Solihin punya tu. So apa benda komen awak tak faham awak punya jawapan. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Hmm? Saya faham ni dia. Awak faham? Wow. Apa yang faham? Uh, Aiman cakap untuk <laughs> dapatkan result yang saya cakapkan ni where kita kena study how money works something like that because we work to get money. Why don't we study how money works so we can get the money or advantage from it. Tapi untuk dapatkan tu kita kena gamble someone life. Hmm. So basically dia agree ke tak agree, tak faham lah. Sebab ni dia tak tahu nak agree ke tak agree lah. Ada selamat lah. <laughs> Wah, ada lah selamat lah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. You know, still you know, Solehin Sabah dengan apa komen saya terhadap apa komen awak, uh, yang komen saya nak komen pada awak tu. Um, it's, an, it's interesting. Uh, however, I will say, Uh, the thoughts are secular thoughts. Okay, so tapi I don't blame you because we are living in a secular world. So nama je kita ni apa nama ni kadang nama je kita Islamic country. Tapi banyak benda-benda yang tidak. Do you know what secular means? We separate from the religion. Hmm, benda yang religion sepatutnya kalau tak secular macam mana dia patut jadi? Mm, we refer to the Islam. <laughs> so kalau tak secular, it means it's, it's holistic. Maknanya dia sekali. Dia macam din. Kita uh, uh, awak kata apa itu ad-din? Din lah. D-E-E-N. Ad-din. Uh, din tu ialah way of life. 
So we, when we say Islam tu is way of life, dia tak boleh separated sebelum benda-benda. Kalau separated maknanya kahwin pakai Islam, semayang pakai Islam, tapi bila banking pakai riba, uh, uh, tu dah tak tu tu dah tak holistic tak way of life. So it had sec, that, that is already secular. Kita dah separatekan dia. So sepatutnya semua benda uh, revolve in uh, Islam tu. So that is the, uh, okay tu tu dia punya tu. So tapi masalah kita kita living in a kita colonized by the by western. Western dia orang secular walaupun dia orang kata dia Christian. Tapi sebenarnya dia macam dia pun confused uh, tapi dia cuba dia dia secular sebenarnya walaupun dia kata dia uh, dia tak gunakan Christianity dia tu dalam semua hidup dia. Dia ada yang yang kahwin Uh, yang mati dia ikut Kristian Tapi bila benda lain dah hidup No, I have my own free thinking You know, I'm LGBT apa semua tu dia Tapi dia, you don't understand So that is secular, dia separate kan Ada yang dia ambil, ada yang dia tak So uh, in terms of education Right, uh, comment yang ni uh, Macam kita kita nak solution yang cantik uh, ni so, Sekarang kita kat sini So uh, Solihin try to pergi kat sini uh, Sedangkan patutnya kita pergi kat sini terus Okay So uh, my comment is, you know, uh, uh, yes, our system is. Uh, I agree. The first comment yang kata pasal first of solihin comment saying that kita ni uh, gear up to find a job, uh, dapat rezat tinggi, dapat kerja bagus, maka gaji tinggi. So semua orang kena dapat rezat bagus. So that's why semua orang tak kira lah hafal, mak latih tupi apa semua tu in order to get the 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 rezat that we want. That's why people cheated kan sebab dia dalam dalam dia don't care as long as the, the goal the goal is to get high, uh, apa nama ni uh, high results good results that is the goal whatever to reach the goal you do right you do because then in the end kita nak dapat tu so that kita boleh dapat kerja yang baik so now so that's why semua orang get tu macam tu dah to be and kita punya education system pun macam tu lah buat 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 sekarang tak tahu apa benda kita faham saya tahu lah, faham apa masa SPM? Saya dapat, saya ceritakan, I get... We are trained. Huh? We are trained to just follow. You are trained to just follow. So, we, I also trained to just follow. And I'm very good in that. I was the top top three in the whole country at that time. So, so, so I, I can say this. So, because saya pun macam tu. People will look at, oh, saya ni smart. Cerdik. Tak cerdik pun sebenarnya. I memorize everything. Memorize everything. History tu buku textbook history SPM tu kan. Esokkan exam. I remember esokkan tu exam um, uh, sejarah. Saya khatam satu buku satu malam. Like to both speed. Uh, saya tak, sebelum tu revise dah. Tapi masa tu saya nak masukkan semua. Masa saya ingat masa saya SPM saya jawab sejarah tu. Siap. Muka serat berapa? Apa? Muka serat berapa? Muka serat? Banyak macam tu ke? Ah, so macam berapa banyak pages of writing sampai saya, you know, yang kat sini. Kalau kita nulis kan kita tulis macam tu. Kat sini ni sampai sakit banyak sangat tulis. Tak tahu benda tulis. You know, banyak sangat. Minta kertas, asyik minta kertas je. I, of course, I get an A. Uh, masa tu dia ada A+. Plus. So jadi, uh, zaman saya tu lah. Zaman saya dia, dia bukan A+, plus, dia panggil A, uh, A1, A2. Zaman awak tak ada lah kan? Kami A plus. Ha? Kami A plus. Oh A plus. Zaman saya A1, A2. So jadi uh, A1 makah dia gini, gini, gini. So, uh, so jadi apa nak ceritanya. Uh, so maknanya dia, I'm very good in that. So do I understand? No. Bila saya, the, 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 bila saya tahu bila saya sebenarnya tak cerdik. <laughs> Kalau tak kita dapat result bagus, kita ingat kita cerdik kan. The moment I know uh, the, the the moment that I know that saya tak cerdik bila saya bila saya buat PhD. Masa degree pun saya dapat first class honor saya ingat saya cerdik lah kan. Sebab I I kept using the same technique. Saya buat latih to be, saya buat exam so I got good class, uh, good result. Sebab memang education system it favors orang macam itu. Tapi understanding ke tak tu that's a another story. So bila buat PhD when you have to think Kena banyak berfikir sendiri. Uh, masa tu saya rasa, wow. Supervisor saya keep on asking questions. Saya tak boleh jawab. Macam awak lah. Oh, move on lah. Hidup. <laughs> so macam, banyak benda. Padahal belajar dah. Tapi tak ingat-ingat. Kenapa? Bukankah benda tu penting? So bagi saya tak penting. Masa saya belajar SPM degree, 
saya tak rasa penting. Oh, sepenting ke elektrik sekat? Tak ada apa lah. Tak apa benda belajar just for the sake of courses that, right? Betul tak? Betul tak saya cakap? Ke tak betul? Depan. Betul kan? Betul sebenarnya. Sebab saya, saya pun rasa macam tu. Uh, tapi that's the problem. Sebenarnya elektrik sekat tu sangat penting. Uh, tapi mungkin juga silap kepada kami lah lecturer yang mengajar tidak menceritakan kepentingan benda tu tu macam mana uh, applicationnya uh, dekat luar so dari situ saya realise oh saya ni tak I don't understand so sebenarnya the answer of the question uh, salah sistem tapi sebenarnya satu salah sistem yang pushing kita ke arah itu tapi sebenarnya salah juga society and kita of the intention kenapa kita belajar kita belajar untuk dapat duit ke Soleh yang kata kita belajar untuk dapat duit. Kan? Hmm. Dalam konsep ni dalam Islam, kita belajar untuk dapat duit ke? Tak payah, tak payah belajar tak dapat dapat duit pun tak apa. You know, there are many YouTubers who are very rich. Semalam saya pun tengok dokumentari. Okay. Kita ada, kita saya memang habis lah. Basically dah habis lah BJT. Okay? So, the, the, the BJT finish. Uh, the syllabus of BJT finish. So, next week kita start dengan MOSFET. Um, uh, apa nama ni the, I was watching a documentary last night Very interesting I'll, Tengok tak I'll, I'll, Tengok tak news pasal scandal uh, Apa University admission Dekat US It was last year uh, 2018, 2019 Macam benda tu Scandal tu memang viral Macam Macam boom Macam You know Like Like a bomb To the US uh, Ni Because Because uh, You know, high uh, rich people, highly rich people and celebrities are pushing their son and daughters to join, to to masuk Ivy League universities. Kan kita ada universiti-universiti dekat, dia ada ranking kan. Dekat US ni, dia lagi lah ranking dia memang crazy. You know, macam for example, Harvard, Stanford University, uh, they, they are like high ranking university. So, So, so siapa boleh masuk situ, basically, or memang employer akan grab you lah if you graduated from that kind of university. That's the thinking. So, jadi, um, jadi orang kaya-kaya ni pun, anak dia tak cerdik. Anak dia pemalas. Kan? Kalau biasa orang, orang kaya ni, dia tak kaya, dia tak, anak dia tak apa nak cerdik. So, dia, dia, tapi dia nak anak dia masuk universiti-universiti tu sebab dia sendiri tak pernah masuk. Okay, dia businessman, very rich. So, dia nak masuk anak dia kat situ. Guess dia buat apa? Right. Hmm. So, so, dia tak pakai bribery. Di, 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 ni, I think saya nak cerita ni dalam engineering ethics. Okay, nak jawab dengan 10 kali. Tak apa. So, <laughs> the interesting thing is uh, this ethics problem. Uh, nak masuk Stanford, uh, nak masuk uh, Harvard ke Stanford ni, dia UC, USC ke, dia punya ada top university ni, it's not easy. You know, the acceptance rate is only 10%. Kalau 100 orang apply, 10 orang yang boleh masuk. Very low acceptance rate. So, lagi lah orang nak masuk kan. Lagi orang kata prestigious. Uh, documentary ni kalau ada Netflix, orang boleh tengok lah kat Netflix. Um, uh, kalau dekat tempat tak ada, saya, saya jumpa kat situ. So, saya suka tengok documentary. Uh, lepas tu, uh, then bila dia What happens is, ada seorang ni, cerdik, businessman, mungkin geng-geng Solihin, tak adalah gurau Solihin, tak suka duit ni. Uh, dia dia very smart. Dia dulu uh, sports teacher kat sekolah, tapi dia tak berapa kena dengan sekolah tu, history dia lah. Macam dia, dia jenis yang cepat naik angin, so dia tak boleh kerja kat sekolah, dia berhenti, lepas tu dia fikir, oh orang, lepas tu dia macam cari business model, nak cari duit. So dia nak cari duit, dia kata, let him be the personal tutor untuk orang masuk universiti. Macam awak lah, kalau nak masuk universiti, uh, nak masuk mana-mana ke, SPM, you ada macam tuition lah, personal tuition lah. Uh, tapi ni personal. So, untuk orang kaya yang rich, very, very rich. So, dia akan personal tutor budak tu untuk exam, SAT, eh, macam, macam-macam exam lah. Kan nak masuk nak masuk college, uh, universiti dekat US, dia kena go to satu exam ni, SAT exam. So, dia buat benda tu. Tapi, the thing is, dia buat benda tu, dia... Mula dia start okay, dia dapat a lot of money sebab orang kaya kan bayar untuk ni. Tapi lepas tu dia, anak tu pun still tak cerdik juga, sorry lah. Anak orang kaya-kaya yang pemalas, awak ingat nak belajar sungguh-sungguh? Tak ah. So, 
And then what happened? Tapi mak dia nak sangat anak dia masuk dekat prestigious universiti ni. So what happens is dia deal. Uh, in order nak masuk universiti sini, you tell, uh, kalau untuk yang uh, you tak boleh masuk kalau macam engineering ke apa tu memang dia akan tengok SAT score. Benda tu sangat penting. Tapi kalau SAT score yang rendah sikit ni untuk sports. So Stanford pun semua tu dia ada sports punya you know macam degree in sports lah. So so dia pun uh, kan dia dulu cikgu sport. So dia tahu everything about sport. Different kind of sports and everything. So what happens is dia gunakan jalan tu untuk dapatkan budak tu masuk. So dia dia will pay 1 million uh, ringgit tapi dia guna dia, dia cuba cover up guna donation. Donate. So dia kata awak donate pada foundation ni, foundation dia ni. Lepas tu dengan ni dia akan ni. So tapi dia macam dia ada beberapa jenis yang uh, apa nama ni? Benda-benda unethical lah. Satu dia uh, ada yang direct lecture like, dia dia coach, dia bright coaching coach tu. Imagine, imagine lecturer can be bright. You can pay me. I ask you, okay, everybody, pay me. If you pay me fifteen thousand ringgit, I give you an A. Oh, you asal tak lebat <laughs> for semiconductor. Give me fifteen thousand ringgit. No problem. Whatever you write, you will get an A. <laughs> uh, so, ada ke? Tak pernah ngah ya lecturer buat macam tu. Sebab lecturer patut ada high moral standard. Tapi kalau sport ni saya selalu, memang saya tak suka sikit sport. Sorry lah, siapa-siapa yang suka sport kat sini. Uh, sport ni dia, bukan tak suka sport tu. Macam industri sports ni. Macam bola sepak ke, apa semua ke, football ke. Dia macam saya rasa macam bit dirty. So jadi, sebab dia, so, so what happens is dia guna bribery eh. Dia, dia forge, dia, dia dia tipu, dia ambil gambar orang tu swimming. Tapi dia macam pakai photoshop apa semua ni. So, budak tu dia masuk. For nearly 10 years or so, dia buat benda ni. Until, dia being caught. Tapi dalam dokumentari tu, best betul lah cerita dia. Ke, macam mana dia kena tangkap. And then benda tu tak, so macam, uh, and macam, and bukan sahaja dia ni kena tangkap. Sekali dalam criminal court tu yang bawa untuk justice tu, 50 orang lain. Hot semua millionaire dengan, you know, celebrities pun kena tangkap sekali. So macam is that's why dia kata skandal memang besar ramai imagine uh, menyebabkan orang kaya-kaya. Tapi interesting yang orang kaya-kaya dia, dia nak tapi dia tak nak anak dia tahu yang mak ayah dia tu pay for them. So anak tu tak tahu yang dia ni <laughs> dia boleh masuk anak tu ingat dia masuk sebab dia cerdik. So macam itu betapa mak ayah sayang pada anak sanggup buat macam-macam anything pasal anak termasuklah benda tu walaupun benda tu salah and then dia tak nak anak dia tahu. So so the The moral of the story is, um, we are supposed to to study not because of money. You can get money out outside there. Tak perlu tak perlu belajar engineering pun you can get money. Object you learn macam awak katalah learn how to get money from YouTube from business. Do you need to go uh, uh, for a degree? You don't need. You can be very rich. Sebab tu sekarang yang orang tak nak masuk universiti. Fine. Sebab because if you want money. Then they don't come to university. You go and macam, sorry Hin kata tu lah, there are many macam training, macam mana to, to find money. But, actually, you go to university to to learn from a lecturer, a teacher. It's actually to gain knowledge. Why you want to gain knowledge? That's a good question. Why? Dalam 4 tahun pula tu, kerja teruk, belajar teruk. Right? Because you, you, You want to gain knowledge yang orang satu untuk kefahaman, to understand so that you can apply uh, in your life. You can contribute. That's why bila every time you nak belajar, sebab tu awak boleh fikir, oh, macam mana aku nak pakai ni untuk ni. Tapi I will tell you, when you finish your degree, you will only use like 5 to 10% of your, uh, whatever you learn in your degree for your life. Bayangkan, 90% tak pakai. Cuba tanya Pak Is, berapa peratus dia pakai masa degree dia dah habis kan? Right now only one class, eh? Semi-perantai. 1%. <laughs> tak sampai 1% pun maybe. <laughs> right? So, and why do we have to go for the 90, 99%? That's the question. Why? Anybody can answer that? Macam mana, Madam? Huh? Macam mana? So, so now, you only use 1% of whatever you study in the degree. Uh, 5 to 10 to maximum lah 10% to maximum you use whatever you learn, learn in a degree 
in your life after your degree. The question is, why do you have to go to the other 90% or, or 99% of the degree life? Kenapa? To train ourselves. Good. To what do you mean to train yourself? Um, to get ready for like a real world challenges like that. So we need to need to get a lot of exercise like that. A lot of what? Exercise. Uh, exercise. Assessment. Hmm. So I'm the ninety percent is actually for the experience, and in order for you to get the engineering thinking, dia tak boleh datang satu kelas you faham. Muda to build up for four years to be to have an engineering mindset. Uh, so apa yang kelas kelas tu, the detail of it maybe not important, or maybe important. It depends. Uh, later you will use it. Like, tapi the whole process. The whole process of understanding, the thinking, the 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 do the doing the thing is all everything are helping you to have this thinking of an engineer. Kalau kau ambil satu kelas je for the semicon ya, for example, you will not be an engineer properly because it it tak cukup. You can add alumni, alumni, tapi you understand. So the whole four years is actually the experience. The experience. So it's important. Experience is important because experience. Are the one who going to to mold you untuk akan bentukkan awak tu sebenarnya experience. So part tahun tu penting. So kesimpulannya kita belajar untuk dapat ilmu, and then kita gunakan ilmu ni pada tempatnya. Hopefully when we guna pada tempatnya kita dapat duit. Mungkin in the end tak dapat duit. Ada orang four years degree in the end dia tak jadi engineer pun, kan? Awak kenal anybody like that? Lot madam. Dia jadi apa? Some businessman. Become business. Some go to become a banker. Hmm. Man, you know there are many like that. So, is it wasted? No. Uh, because you know when you say uh, seeking knowledge, untuk ilmu tu dia bukan sahaja ilmu yang base, yang 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 teknik. It's actually the experience pun ilmu. So, adakah orang yang buat degree empat tahun lepas tu jadi banker, ke jadi businessman uh, adalah a failure? Teacher. A failure? No, it's not a failure. They are using their engineering degree experience and thought process to help them to become businessmen, and uh, what is And uh, what is And uh, banker or apa-apa kerja-kerja lain. So, bagi bagi saya tak rugi ya. So, bagi saya belajar tak rugi. So, belajarlah for the sake of Allah. Uh, for for the sake of Allah. To for the sake of seeking knowledge. Then uh, and kita harap knowledge tu kita retain. Kalau kita tapi kita ni bukan Iman Syafi'i saya pun macam tu kau tak semua saya ingat. So balik so we try our best so to so, try to remember tapi kalau tak, tak ingat janganlah macam hafal for the sake of exam sahaja. Jangan buat aja for the sake of exam. Habis exam ni saya tanya satu keluar je exam hall tu. <laughs> saya tanya pun saya bukan nak tapi injunction tu apa terus tak ingat. <laughs> you know. Uh, The and the and it happened to me before. So I'm telling you lah. So I'm telling you the the sad truth. Habis the exam, memang saya dump everything. Saya tak ingat apa pun. So bila which is saya kind of regret. I said saya, saya tak sepatutnya ada mindset macam tu. Kenapa saya tak retain je? Sedangkan saya dah belajar. Tapi sebab mereka ni tu kita macam letih lah stress. Sekurangnya kita nak dump. Tapi tak cerita sebenarnya. But then habis tu, okay, maknanya okay, I will try to retain everything, um, then try to use it later, kalau perlu. Sebab tu, sebab tu bila kita interview, employer tu tak nak ambil awak, sebab awak punya mindset, habis exam, you you, you delete semua benda. Sebab tu bila dia tanya benda fundamental, awak tak jawab, dia tak akan ambil awak kerja. Sebab tanya pasal elektrik circuit pun tak ingat. So, apa benda ni? Saya banyak kena complain, employer complain kat saya lah, dia kata, I don't know what the university are teaching. I ask about PN Junction. I ask about um, apa ni, some circuit. They cannot answer. So, dia kata, dia kata apa? So, macam dia blame kami lah. Tak, curriculum tak bagus ni. Saya kata, kita orang ajar semua dia. Budak tu tak ingat. So, dia tu tak ingat. Sebab dia delete. So, try not to delete lah. Whatever you learn. Uh, uh, so, because uh, it will help you. Kalau tak pun dalam interview. 
Okay. Alright. Dah 12.52. I think that's enough for today. Uh, InsyaAllah, we'll continue next week with more sweat. Uh, we have two more classes, uh, insyaAllah. Then we finish. Uh. We can wrap. And I will give you a quiz. Saya baru bagi satu quiz kan? Hmm. Quiz kedua tu saya tak tanda lagi. Oh, quiz kedua saya tak tanda lagi. So macam saya kena push. I don't know. Bulan 6 ni banyak benda lah. Banyak deadline. So jadi mungkin lepas bulan 6 ni. Hopefully it's Nen ke Sasa ke. Saya boleh start buat. Kalau weekend ni. You know tu mark out semua benda ni. Saya mark weekend. Tengah malam. So tu orang kata. Lecturer ni sebenarnya. <laughs> tak ada live. Kerja kita orang tanda, tak tanda kuis awak pun, tanda, uh, tanda thesis, you know, thesis student, thesis master, proposal, so benda-benda macam itulah. Okay, alright, let's end the class with the doa. Can I have a one person, please? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah <laughs> Assalamualaikum ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Thank you Salihin uh, Let's end the class with Tasbih Kifara And Surat Al-Aus Subhanakallahumma bihamdika Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wal-Aus Innal insana lafi khus Illa alladhina amanu wa amru salihat Wa tawasaw bil haqqa Wa tawasaw bil sur Eh hey, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.